so guys we have grown some microbes here in the Mu'ajaza lab these are some microbes that we have grown and we will see now I will add these microbes in the honey okay before adding into the honey I will culture these microbes and then we will see how much effective our honey is against these microbes okay so here we have mold and this is the yeast so we'll grow them so I'm going to transfer so so we'll so this is the yeast cell that I'm going to take okay This is the yeast and this will be the mold. This is the yeast and now this is this is the mold and this is the yeast. We will culture it okay and we'll blow it and then later we'll transfer in the Petri plate to get the pure culture and after that we will transfer these microbes to our honey and we'll see how much honey is effective in killing these microbes so guys uh, this, these are the products of Mojiza so the honey Manuka honey Habatul Baraka or black seed honey and this is wildflower honey so now I'm going to transfer all this honey into these containers and then to each of them I will add yeast and molds okay and we'll see how much these honeys are effective in killing these yeast and molds so now I'm adding these honeys into the containers okay. This is the last one I have added. This is multi flower honey. Now, to each of them, I'll add some sterile solution. This is a sterile solution. To each of them, we have added this sterile solution, and we will add a, the sterile solution in another container which contains no honey. So these all contains honey, and this one without honey. So we will see the effect of the honey in killing the germs. Now I now I'm going to transfer the germs. I'm going to transfer the microbes so i will transfer the molds in this sterile solution okay then i will transfer the molds to multi-flower honey then to black seed honey Same way, I'm going to transfer the yeast also to the multi-flower honey and to the rest of the honey. So we have transferred the microbes in all all of these containers, okay, with different different honeys. And now we will spread one by one on the petri plate to see the effect of the honey. So 
likewise I will transfer all and we will see how much our sadhan black cumin manuka and wildflower honey is effective in killing all these molds and yeast so guys here are the results so this one here this one is normal microbes that we grown and this is the control and this one is multi flower honey so you can see that multi flower honey kills the microbe from this much this much microbes to only this much and this one is southern honey southern honey kills almost completely all microbes and manuka honey it also kills almost all microbes no microbes are there and black seed also kills all of them but this multi flower honey this which was multi flower it just kills a little percentage of of the microbes you can see this is the mold over here and these were the microbes yeast and this one is mold so it kills almost some yeast cells and then it kills little uh, mold but not completely but sadar and manuka and black seed honey these three honeys they they kill all of them